Hi, my name is Richard Bilderbeek. I'm gonna try a test run of the Dardell migration. Um, although I'm an experienced user, I will pretend to be a complete beginner, so I'll follow the documentation. Only what's documented I will use, and I'll do stupid stuff, um, unless it's in the documentation, of course. So I have not prepared at all. Let's see what happens. I do start at the documentation of the Dardell migration, uh, which is here. Uh, you can easily find it. You go to the Upmax documentation there, and then you click on Migration to Dardell at the bottom, and then you're there. So let's take a look. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps. Um, I know that uh, six, step six is the is, is that's where it's go. That's where it's about. So let's do. And also, I've done some steps. Step one, get access to support to a project with Dardell. All right. Um, I've, I already have that. So how do I know if I have that? Well, you go to this website. Let's go there. Bam. All right, I need to log in. I can do that. I am in Uppsala. Yeah. My usernames. I two factor authentication and that is of super or nice sure super five five seven seven nine seven great I'm in and now how do I check if there's a PDC project you may have access to a project with their Delta projects nice PDC let's take a look Let's take a look. There do we see PDC? Tick tick tick. There it is. And uh tip nice small computers project. Is that a word Dardell somewhere? Here we see Dardell. Yes, I have access to Dardell. Great, next step. Um so I already have that, so um you have to do this yourself. It's described there. Let's take a look if it's a bit reasonable to do. Well, this is PDC, so I assume they did a good job. Get the PDC account via Super. So, how do I... So, I guess I already have that too. Log in to Super Nice. I already did that. See if your account is in the list of existing accounts. Sure, sure, sure. So, I scroll up again. I know this is about, about, um, about Dardell. Hey, this is where I am. Yeah, apparently I already have an account. Good. So close this. Next step, create an SSH key pair. On rack can do tuk tuk tuk. Sure, I can do that. And this is the technical term, ignore this. All right. So I'm gonna go to Rackham, SSH HL at rankham.upmax dot uu dot sh just put it put it to the right, I put this thing at the left. Uh, this is what I'm gonna do. That's the recommended way to do it. CD dot SSH module load dar sync. Dar sync is the tool. And then dar sync SSH key. Let's see what happens there. Bam! This worked! Uh, alright, alright, alright. And at least they I got some text with SSH key contact of the public key. Sure, sure, sure. And there's some some links. I don't know if I need them. Let's say let's say what let's take a look what the documentation says there. Step four: Add the public key to the PDC login portal. Alright, so we have the key. And how we're going to go to the PDC login portal? All right. Well, I can Google the PDC login portal. PDC login portal. All right. I guess I need to add Stockholm, Stockholm, because I know PDC is in Stockholm. There it is, loginportal.pdc.kth. Great. Uh, yeah, that's what I need to do here. Log in to supervise this link, prove my identity. Well, well let's, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm, prove my identity. Great, I'm in. Because I recognize this screen, this is the key management screen. So back to the documentation. So I locked. Uh, 
So I added, oh, I need to add the public key to the PDC login portal. Um, so I just logged in, that's all great, but I, c I should have clicked here, I guess. So let's take a look. This is step two of some bigger guide. Open the PDC login portal. Yeah, that's exactly, I just at the bottom left, I see the URL, that's what I did. Start adding a new key. Click on add new key, sure, I can do that. Where is this login portal there? Click on. So, is this something I need to... Let, let's delete this thing, I don't know what it is. Probably it's the previous attempt that I did uh, in, in doing this. We're gonna start cleanly. I need to click on add new key, sure, sure, sure. And uh, what do we need to do next? I can remove this. Where is it over there? Shit, I need to go there. Add new key, I did that. Actually adding it. You can either upload the part of the key or you can enter the information manually. Copy the content of the ages. Okay, sure, I forgot where the key was. It's it's there, sure. Okay, we can do that. And so this is where the key is. This is what's displayed. I guess it's also still on the terminal I have open. Yeah, there it is. Look at this. This looks the same as this. So I guess this is what I can copy. I'm going to copy this. Copy. Bam. And I'm going to go to the login portal there. I guess I need to put it here. I need to give it a name. I need to give it a name. Make up a name for the key so you know which computer is on and fill in the name, key name. All right. Um, Access Dardell from Rackham. Let's call it that something like that. I have no idea. Up. Nope. Um, what's this thing? I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Up, save. Because that is what I what the document accept. I did it. Next step. Allow the key to be used from Upmax. Click on add address and add star dot upmax. Oh sorry, this dot at this dot at the end, don't copy that. <coughs> This should be added to add address. Let's take a look. This is the thing. Add ad there, add address. I'm going to click on it. St here I can type something. Add custom address. Bam, I did it. All right, this looks solid. Uh, yeah, now we've done that step. I'm going to close this tab. I'm going to go back to the main documentation. <coughs> Now we're going to run Darsync. First step, uh, so this should be done on Rackham. And first we need to load the module. Sure, sure, we can do that. Let's go back to Rackham. We're going to do module load Darsync. I've already done that, uh, but it doesn't hurt to do it again. And now, now we're going to Darsync check. Sure, sure, sure. Star sync check. Let's see what happens. Star sync check. Specify local directory. All right. So I need to specify where, um, which folder I am going to transfer. Right, so now we're going to go into the real stuff. So let's see. In my home folder, I probably have a folder I want to fake transfer. So let's take a look. Doc. Let's do GitHub. So that these are all my GitHub repos. So let's say I want to transfer them. Like I know there's stuff in there. So I want to check this folder. All right, it prompts me, it's doing stuff. Let's see, all right, so this is where I did my stuff. Check and complete. I should be good to go. Next step, Darsing Gen A. All right, so this is what should I did it. So it's 5.2, went super solid. Generate the script. In this script, the Slurm script is created, sure. We're gonna do this, Darsing Gen. There. Specify which directory you want to copy. Right, so we did that. That was squiggle slash githubs. There. Specify which project idea should be used to run the data transfer job in Slurm. I guess that is my Dardell account. Or is that th is that's the thing I have open from NICE? I guess. No, this is something else. 
Can I use it there? I don't know. So it is on PDC, so I can't I can't use this one. So how do I find out my Upmax project ID? It can be found at that home page and I need to use these. Okay, sure, I can do that and it needs to be converted to something like that. Right, let's let's try that out. No, uh, this doesn't seem it, this doesn't seem it, this seems like a good, this is quite, I don't know what this formula is. This is about an UpMax introductory course, that's, that don't use that one. UpMax, the sensitive data, here we have something. Experiment for making cool data, watch, uh, we can use this. So I'm going to use this account, UpMax23-25. What do I need to do with that? Up maximum to slash 225. All right, great. So I have converted this already here. So this is what I'm going to use. The copy. There. Specify which cluster the Slurm job should be run on. Choose between Rackham and Snow. Default is Rackham. How do I find out this? Well, let's take a look at this, at this thing. Probably it says it here. Um, because this is where I'm going to run it on, but where does it run on? Ah, this runs on Snowy, I guess. So I have, I'm going to type in Snowy there. Snowy. Specify the Dardell username that should be used to log in at Dardell. It is the username you've created at PDC, it's probably not the same as your Upmax username. Okay, yeah, sure. What is my username? This is it, Rich Shelby. Yeah, that's my username. Yeah, it's here. Bam. I'm gonna copy paste it. Yeah, sure, I can type it. Here shall be. Specify the directory on Dardell you want to transfer your data to. Mm -hmm. Alright. How do I find this out? It's in the nice folder, it's in storage. Sure, okay, okay, I can copy paste that. Now I need to go back to the PDC thing again. PDC, there it is, and with support. And because here we can access Tardell. Yeah, so it's here. This is what I'm going to copy. Is that all I need to copy? In this case, the full folder name is the loop. Yeah, so I can use this apparently. I guess I need to add slash, re slash Richel or something that distinguishes me. Um, I'm going to add Richel just to make sure that I don't bother my colleague. Um, and I'm going to add the date, so because maybe I already have a folder like this. So I'm going to add the date to there. Specify which SSH key should be used to log into Dart. So I created one. And press enter. Yeah, it works. Specify where the Slurm script file should be saved. If not given, we'll save it. Here's your right up. To test if the generated file were right, uh, created Slurm script. Great, that's great. Contain the following commands. Sure, that's what it does. To test if it works, run that. Okay, sure, I can do that. Yeah. If the transfer starts now, you know the script is working. You can terminate by pressing Ctrl C. Alright. So there was a problem here. Ah, but so here's a problem. It cannot uh, extend the squiggle. So that is a problem. Um, but I know how to fix this, so I'm going to do this. So apparently it doesn't do like the, the, the correct replacements, but I know where the script is, so I'm going to modify it to point to the right folder. Nano file name. So let's take a look where this weirdness comes up. There it is. So here we see slash domus slash h1 slash richial dot slash. So this should be 
combine because this is my home folder. The squiggle indicates the home folder. So I'm going to replace it like this. There. I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to run it again. And again, as it if it starts, press Ctrl C. Uh, but how do I know if it's starting? I feel it's working now. Yeah, or, or this is clearly something doing. Great. What am I gonna do next? So this looks solid. No idea what it is, but it looks solid. Then submit it as a job. Let's send it. Copy. Ctrl V. There. It's going. Let's take a look if it is actually going. New dollar user dash m snowy. So this shows all the queues that are for me on snowy because I put it on snowy. And look at there she goes. Um, and if you do iterate, uh, let's see every 10 seconds and every 10 seconds uh, we will see uh, how it's going. So 24 seconds already. Like I don't know how many files it needs to transfer, how many files it's transferring now, but it's still busy. Well, I'm going to put this screen to the right. And let's take a look. This looks super solid. Oh, this is already step six. Oh, right. so you did step six. Um, we didn't do this. So it will probably create some default output file if something goes wrong. We can ignore that. Uh, when is this thing done? We don't know. We don't know. It's already one minute and four seconds. So after that, we can check the error logs. And after that, we can delete the key. Okay. Okay, okay. We can do that. Um, so instead of waiting for this thing to finish, let's see if 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 this would actually work. Right, so we're gonna interrupt this. So instead of removing it, I'm gonna cat the file. Oh yeah, there it is. So this means so with cat I could display it, so I can remove this file in the end if I want to. And you should, because this is a passwordless key. So you should delete it in the end. So also what you see now, um, I will delete this file at the end of the video so you don't have access to my stuff. Alright, let's follow the process again because, well, there's nothing else to do. It's done. Alright, then I'm going to ignore it. How do I know if it worked? Well, let's take a look if there are some files created. So this, yeah, this is the slurm file. So slurm creates output. Yeah, so this was the job ID, 349 in the end. Here it has 349 in the end too. So let's take a look. When I display that file, well, this looks super solid. I did it! Well, all right, let's do the next step then. So we can delete those files. All right, so I'm just gonna, I've seen the whole file. I could use the tail, that's the tail that file there this only shows you the last lines I'll do time again with a clear screen here um, looks solid to me and now we're gonna delete it let's do that Ctrl C Ctrl V enter and we're done and I guess maybe it would be an idea good idea to um, also delete the key here let's do that because it was connected to the thing I just delete and so delete it there so in this video, I've showed you how to migrate to Dartel, and you see it's a, it's a bit of a long process, but uh, it is doable. So with that, I wish you a very good day. Contact support if you have problems anyways, because we're there to help and we have more experience in this. Um, maybe we'll improve the documentation also, for example, so we can thank you for that too. Alright, wish you a very good day. Bye.